Today we're going to be doing a lumbar rhizotomy. The lumbar rhizotomy is done for patients who've gotten very good temporary relief from the facet injections and the medial branch blocks. The medial branch blocks and facet injections are diagnostic procedures. They help us determine if the joints are potentially causing some of your pain. If you get very good temporary relief with these, we'll then move to the rhizotomy part of the procedure, which we're going to do today. The rhizotomy procedure will get rid of the little nerves that innervate those painful joints and hopefully give you long-lasting relief. There are certain medications that you will have to be off of for seven days prior to your procedure. Some of those medications we will have to obtain clearance from your medical provider, whoever prescribed them to you. Some of these medications do require lab work prior to your procedure. If this is the case, then we will alert you prior to your procedure. Make sure that you do not eat or drink anything four hours prior to your procedure. You can take your blood pressure medication prior to the procedure with a small sip of water. After the procedure, if you do develop a headache, please notify our office as soon as possible. The first part of the procedure, we're gonna clean your back here. Next, we're gonna use x-ray to help us localize the site for the rhizotomy. There'll be multiple needles placed during this procedure, and prior to placing the needles, we'll put some numbing medication in the skin. A little poke in the sting. Next, we'll put the needles, and we'll use x-ray to get them to the right spot so we can burn those nerves that innervate that painful joint. Now we're gonna move on to the next level. We'll place a little more numbing medication, a little poke in the sting. In most cases, we'll be placing four needles, and that will help us destroy the little nerves that go to, the, to three different joints usually in the lower lumbar spine that are under the most pressure and most likely causing your pain. Okay, we're then gonna use x-ray and multiple x-ray shots to make sure the needles are in the perfect place. We can confirm that the needle is placed on the bone right near the joint where the nerve runs that innervates that joint. So we're in good position in all four levels. After getting the needles in the right spot, we're gonna place the metal probes through the needle. These probes will heat up and heat up the tip of the needle that's now placed by that nerve that we're trying to destroy. These are very small nerves, so sometimes they can grow back, but if you get very good relief with this for six months or more, this procedure can be repeated in the future. The first step, we're gonna send a small current through these needles and it may stimulate your back and you may feel your back twitching, which is normal. And this helps confirm that we're in the right spot. We want to be near the nerve that innervates the joint, but not near any of the nerves that innervate the legs. And we can tell that both by using the machine and by taking multiple x-rays. We'll then remove the probes temporarily and we'll put some numbing medication into the needles We'll then replace the probes. We'll take another x-ray to confirm the needles haven't moved and then still in the correct position. After we've confirmed the needles are in the correct position and place numbing medication in the needles, we'll then start the burning or rhizotomy part of the procedure. There's two rounds of this, each lasting about 90 seconds. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. We're starting to heat up, so sometimes you'll feel it in your back but you're doing real well. We then rotate the needles 180 degrees to make sure that we contact all of the nerve we're trying to destroy. And we do one more 90 second rhizotomy or burn. Again, prior to our second rhizotomy, we're going to take another x-ray and again confirm the needles are in good place. And then we'll go ahead with our second rhizotomy
So at the end of the procedure, I'm gonna remove the needles. After your procedure, you may have some soreness in your back, which was normal for a few days after the procedure. And hopefully this will give you long lasting relief to your back or neck pain. Of course, this is a one-sided procedure. So if you still have pain on the other side and get good relief from the side that you did have the procedure on, we can proceed to the next side as well.